But you really don't have to wait long for the fun and the games to begin because tomorrow is the opening day for the world famous Steel Pier. And joining us now is the owner, Anthony Cananoso. Mr. Cananoso, good of you to join us. Uh, what kind of uh, fears or apprehensions or ambitions do you have going into tomorrow? Uh, the only fear or apprehension we have right now is the weather. It's going to be it's going to be a cold start to uh, this season, but we're excited to finally get started. Last year we opened about two months late. This year we're back on schedule with the Palm Sunday opening. But other than the cold weather, uh, we're ready to go. The uh, hurricane obviously created this perception of damage up and down the shore. You're good to go. You've added some new rides and attractions this year, I understand. Yes, we have eight new rides coming in. Uh, they'll be in probably in mid-April, uh, ready to be um, ridden sometime in early May, certainly all by Memorial Day weekend. And we've uh, got, got some uh, really great food and beverage and entertainment options uh, on the pier this year. From, from your experiences getting it opened last year, this is a, obviously a historic treasure dating back to what, I guess, 1898. What did you learn last year that will make it better for you operating it this year? Well, we learned a little bit more about our food and beverage operation. We introduced alcohol for the adults last year in certain areas of the pier, and um, we are refining that and redefining that uh, as we move into this year. And this year we're going to have some really neat entertain entertainment uh, in the back bar, which holds about 300 people, and uh, a different experience in the front bar. We're going to try to play off the whole Margaritaville experiencing that's hap experience that's happening right next door to us. So we're very excited about that. You also are coming off the year with the hurricane and the image we, we touched on a moment ago. You got the Miss America pageant coming back in September. Do you get the sense that, uh, you know, people have talked about the frustrations of actually getting Atlantic City to turn around? The phrase has been used a lot. But do you get the sense that on some levels there, despite all the talk about gambling revenue down, that you, you are seeing things in a different light? Yes, we are. We're moving forward full steam ahead, and there is a lot of exciting things happening. There's a lot of synergy here with Miss America, Margaritaville, uh, Revel's going to be fine. Uh, the whole uptown, di uptown district, as we call it here in Atlantic City, is going to have a whole resurgence. So we're, we're very excited about it. We did get, we did get you know, a, a bad rap with the whole Sandy thing, but we are really unscathed and ready to go here. Do you feel that the state, do you feel that the, the city and that the, the uh, major business people on the boardwalk have put enough into promotion to attract the kind of crowds and to get the message out? Yes, they really have uh, put a great foot forward. Uh, Atlantic City Alliance is doing a terrific job in promoting Atlantic City. And, you know, if it doesn't work, it's not for lack of trying. But I really think it's going to work. I think the economy is uh, bouncing back. And I know we have all the right elements here, all the right amenities here in Atlantic City to make it a really great destination. Well, we appreciate your coming on, and we wish you good luck as the season starts. Thanks very much. My pleasure to be here.